what's going on everybody welcome to the channel today if you enjoyed this review please drop a like please subscribe down below and i appreciate all the support and as you can see in front of you we have yet another easy 350 a v2 we got boost on the side we flip it around it is a men's size 13 and the colorway is earth this was region specific i think this was limited to north america and canada and then there were two other pairs that released with this. We will go over those real quick. One was the flax and one was the tail light. I will leave in text down below what regions they were specific to because I can't remember off the top of my head because there were a couple of um, unique regions to those colorways. Getting into what we have today though, this is what we are looking at. This is the earth colorway. Bringing up the tag real quick so you guys can go over this in case you want to verify your pair to see if everything matches up. Let's put this one over here so we got the tag out the way actually. And let's bring this up. This way you guys can get a good detailed look of this colorway. It's pretty muted. It's pretty simple. But the light is actually picking it up really nicely as you can see. I like it what it looks. I do. I Once again, I've mentioned in previous Easy Reviews, I'm not a big fan of the heel tab thing back here. If they remove this like they did on the other 350 V2s, I like the way that looks. That's just my preference though. And color-wise, I would have to say it is, I don't know, kind of like a burnt sand. And uh, you have this across here, which is almost like a chocolate brown. And I kind of like what they did. I do. It's, it's a unique colorway. I don't know really what else to say about the color. But if you're not a big fan of the marshes that released recently, I think this would be a good pickup. Um, do I think it's the best out of the three that released? Maybe um, I would have to look at those pictures again after I do this review and verify that but I'll put in text here Which one I think is probably the best out of this pack just for my opinion And if we flip it on the bottom here You've got the boost down here, which if you guys want to check a fake take your boost and push it in like this If it doesn't flex at all, and this is hard at the bottom. That's a fake pair it, it, The fakes do not mock the boost material. They don't so that's one way to tell right there right off the bat You have a boost down here in yellow I actually like that little touch of yellow in here. I think the yellow actually goes well with this color. And actually, I hate to say it, I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of that yellow somewhere else on the shoe up here. Um, that's just my preference. I don't know why. I just feel like that yellow actually goes good with these muted browns and tans they have going on here. And then the outsole, I don't know exactly what color that is because it's different than the stripe going across here. It's more like a... has like almost like a darker brownish tinge to it so i just want to try to get the color accurate as possible for you guys this way you can decide if this is really right for you some people don't like certain colors i do like the color yellow you know it's not my favorite color but i do like the color yellow i just don't wear it it's just a color i don't feel like looks really that good on me so i don't wear much yellow at all so just if you want to check this is what you're looking at in terms of the color coding it's pretty accurate under the light like i said and on the inner lining here you do have this black suede which goes underneath on both sides. And then the insole itself is a graphite gray. And then there is your insole in the graphite gray with the Adidas Easy. And yeah, there's really not much else to talk about with these. I think it's a pretty interesting colorway. I think it's pretty good. I think they executed these decently. Am I going to keep them? Nah, they're going to go out of here. I just wanted to bring you guys a nice review. So this way you can decide if you want to pick up a pair for yourself. I will leave a link down below to StockX and GOAT where you can pick these up on the aftermarket because they are out of stock everywhere like usual. They sell out. And other than that, let me know what you guys think down in the comments of the Yeezy 350 V2 Earth. Let's get some conversation going. It's good to hear from you guys. And um, yeah, we're just going to leave it there. And I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you come back in the next one. I have another one coming very shortly. And um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one.